Guess the grade on this 1883-0 oh, Morgan dollar. Uh, this coin has um, blue and purple toning all over the obverse. Um, there's a number of small marks that I can see underneath the toning. A pretty decent number of them all over the coin, but no real heavy um, dings or really heavy bag marks. Um, so coin has a lot of chatter, but is not um, super banged up. Uh, the coin is generally well struck, but it's from um, dies that were pretty worn out. So um, the strike was full, but the die itself at this point was pretty heavily used and had lost a lot of its detail, particularly around the edges where um, the design starts to stretch out. That's from die wear. Um, I actually like the toning a lot on the reverse here. PC or NGC called this one MS63. Uh, I think that's probably the right grade. Um, sometimes uh, a coin like this might get called a 64. Technically, it's actually probably closer to 64 in my mind than it is 63. But um, the appearance of the coin, given the dies are pretty worn, is a little bit mushy, which uh, often can limit uh, the grade a half point. Um, particularly if there's a big jump in price from uh, between grades, if the coin has a very mushy appearance, you'll see this a lot on like 1890 or 910 dollars, where there's a big price jump from 64 to 65. If the coin looks mushy, they'll be really conservative in how they grade it. They'll, you know, if it is technically a 65, they might only call it a 64. Um, in this case, this is a coin that maybe technically is a 64, but uh, is mushy, and so they called it a 63.